What's up, guys? Good morning. It is... Well, technically, it's actually morning still. It's, uh, it's 11.39. That's a rarity for me. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to get up. I didn't even have time to uh, get dressed, as you can see. I am in my blanket still, because it's kind of chilly here. Um, but I, I just grabbed my camera, uh, because a few days I hit 100 videos, which is... That's pretty cool. Uh, but today, it finally happened. Uh, I hit 100 subscribers, yeah, triple digits. Um, I'm still a little in disbelief, um, but there it is, right there, 100 subscribers. Uh, thank you guys to the new subscribers who just subscribed, um, and thank you for everybody who's stuck with me this long. Um, first it's 100. Next big thing is 500, and then a thousand. Once I hit that four-digit mark, I think we'll be uh, we'll be on the upturn. Birds being loud too. Yes, I'm looking at you. He likes to talk to the birds outside. This way, you can crack them that way, and we've all done this. Who has? I've never done that. You always end up picking out eggshells. Not anymore. Introducing Easy Cracker, the ingenious new product that lets you crack open eggs. Seriously, these are the best things ever. I loved roots before, but then you put cinnamon sugar on it. I have to keep myself from eating an entire sleeve. Seriously. Oh, and you might be wondering what this is on my face. Yeah. I had a giant, like, zit, like, giant, and it's, like, something that's supposed to dry it out and not make it so giant, so that's what that is. Well, what is up, guys? I'm just headed to school now. Uh, quick day at school, and then I'm back here to, uh, I got some cycling to watch. If any of you guys are into cycling, it's uh, Torino Adriatico is the, uh, the race. Um, but anyways, just headed to school, uh, back to watch some cycling, work on my drums. By then, my drum head should be here. Hopefully. Um, but I mean, look at this. Look at this day. This is an amazing day out here. Only only small clouds in the sky. Uh, it's a little chilly. Mainly because I'm in the shade. Let me get in the sun here. Oh, in the sun is perfect. Maybe I'll do my drum tuning outside today. Sounds like a plan. This is what I like to see. The first of my drum stuff is here. So this should be backrest for the drum kit, uh, for the drum seat throne, uh, smaller uh, drum heads, and then the uh, the big drum head for my bass drum. Well, you gotta love our uh, our mail system. This package, I didn't cut that myself, it came opened. But anyways, everything should still be in there, it's all bagged up and everything, so. All right, now it's time to see if we can figure out how to put that on there. That's going to be close. We'll see. Let's get these other two packages open, what do you say? unpacked and I'll show you what I got. Ah, dad shied away from the camera. That's funny. Alright, so here's everything that I bought in this shipment. I've got one more coming tomorrow. I've got the, the backrest that is now on the drum throne and 
all new Remo drum heads. In my opinion, uh, the best drum heads out there. So I've now tripped over this five times. You would think after like the second time I'd move it. No, I'm too lazy. Alright, so first on the block is the snare. I gotta replace replace both heads on this guy. Alright, let's get to work. Alright, so we gotta be really careful with this part right here, the snares. Now for any of you who don't know, um, the snares are actually, uh, the snares, those wires on the snare drum is actually what makes it crack, what makes it pop. Um, so that's, you know, that's what makes a, a snare drum different than any other drum and give it a different sound. Alright, step number two, I use this thing to untighten the screws. This is called the drum key and take this guy off. This guy is what I'm replacing right here, the plastic part. Uh, I bet. Alright, both drum heads are off. Uh, basically, to put the drum, the new drum heads on, it's basically the reverse of what I just did. Um, so no need filming that. And then uh, I'm going to tune it. And then I'm going to do the same thing for everything else. So I'm not going to videotape all that. Because it's, it's just going to be repetitive. So. Alright, so here's the basic idea of tuning. You want to get the drum head uh, to a, a uniform tone. Um, basically, what you do is you go around and you tighten all the lugs uniformly until you get an even sound by, you know, you go test around each one. See, I'm still a little off there. And then you tighten everything up evenly until you get the right tone. Uh, for a snare, I go with a, kind of a medium tightness, not super tight, so it's not really like a thick, you know, heavy crack, but it's not a thud either. Um, that's just kind of the sound that I like. Uh, but I'm going to get going. I need two hands for that so I can't film. But, you know, I'll show you the finished product. Alright, so snare is done and tuned. That didn't sound good. The snare is done and tuned. Now we get to, uh, we get to do the rest of them. Fun. Uh, so my back hurts from bending over. This is the grueling part of being a drummer. At least until until you become famous enough or am able to hire uh, a drum tech. Because then they do it for you. And they're like pro at it. Um, but this is the grueling part about being an independent drummer. Alright, so the rack tom is done too. Now onto the floor toms. So I'm almost done getting my drum heads mounted and tuned and everything. But check out our living room. It looks like a drum factory, seriously. Got my entire kit. Some of it is in pieces. I've just got the bass drum left. That's why we got that guy open up on the inside. Um, but yeah, almost done. They're sounding good too. Let me. I can't. I can't hit them like full blast because it's one. It's well. It's evening and everybody in the neighborhood is home. People wouldn't like that. And my mom's sleeping, so I can't. I can't do that. But but listen, it's uh, it's got a really nice tone to it. put a few things on it and uh, put a few things on it and uh, which kind of muffles those that ring afterwards and it sounds good yeah who knew a $500 drum kit could sound as good as you know a couple thousand dollar drum kit not bad not bad all right so it's been a long day I've already recorded uh, like 20 minutes of footage today which it's a lot to try to compress down to 10 minutes. Uh, my drums are all set up, tuned and everything. I have to retune them tomorrow, but that's all technical stuff. Uh, so Kevin and I are going to sit and watch some TV. We got our NBC shows tonight, you know, Community, The Office, all those all those funny comedies. Uh, and then I'm going to call it a night. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. See ya.